Welcome back everyone to Mini Life Crisis. So today we're going to go through actually where we find the inverter board. So we first things first, open inverter.org. We can see we've got the home, the forum, the shop. So if we just have a quick look at the forum, got all the different manufacturers here. We can scroll down. There's hardware and software and general questions and classifieds and everything. So uh, here we are, here's BMW. So we're going to click on there and there is the i3 controller hacking thread. So that's where we've got all our information so far. Different people from across the globe are contributing to this thread to try and help make this project work. Uh, so there's uh, six pages so far, lots of nonsense from me on there. Now we can go to the shop and these are the different boards that they've got available to you to purchase. Um, Nissan Leaf stuff and uh, Tesla stuff. So uh, they've got servicing, so you can uh, purchase engineering hours from them or a whole sort of service package so they can help set it all up for you. Um, so that is another thing that's available over to the software. Um, not really 100% sure on, uh, on that at the moment. Uh, back to the hardware. Let's find that BMW i3 board, which is back up at the top. And then we'll click on that and then add that to our cart. Next, we're going to talk about the software. Now, the software comes actually installed on the board. So what we need to do is we can go to the wiki on the open inverter. Uh, .org site and this has got all the information that you should need to help get you on your way. We're going to go and look at the web interface. So this is the, as it says there, this is the part in, that runs in the background to help you set up and keep an eye on your inverter. Okay, so what we need to do is connect the Wi-Fi module uh, that comes on the board to your laptop and uh, to do that, you need the Wi-Fi password. If we go back to the forum, the forum thread, and we head over to page four, then uh, down here, we can find the password somewhere down here, a bit further. There we go, there's the password. So that is uh, what we, use on our laptop to connect to the Wi-Fi module on the board. Once we've done that, we can then browse to that website. All right, okay, uh, quite nerve wracking this. So uh, back on to the Open Inverter uh, forum, and we can see here uh, what's the um, updated pinout. So I've got 12 volt, uh, going to pin number one, and 11 as a ground uh, 13 volts going into it i hope no one's going to shoot me over how i've connected that up we can see here the wi-fi dongles there we've got a flashing red light there and then a steady red light there so next thing to do is to try and see if i can use my wi-fi to connect to the wi-fi dongle here Okay, so that's the next stage. So I've gone onto my Wi-Fi settings and uh, here we're gonna go with inverter eight. Now I've got to enter the security key, which is back on the, uh, back on the forum. So I uh, forgot to mention, uh, got the laptop connected to the internet for an ethernet cable, which enables me to free up the Wi-Fi function on here to connect to the Wi-Fi dongle on the board. Once you've connected to the Wi-Fi and entered into the uh, web page, this is what you'll find. Now there are some updates available and for this, I'm gonna pass you over to Johannes Hubner and uh, just show you how to find his page then once you've found his page you can watch his uh, tutorials um, because he's obviously much better at explaining this than I am 
Okay, so just show you how to find his video here and uh, then you guys can head on over there, watch that and learn a bit more. That's about it for this episode. So I'll leave you there to go and explore all the different videos that uh, are up there about the inverter and I will see you again soon. Take care.